we farm bees. We're experts in how to go about propagating that bee so that we can use them in pollinating different crops around the U.S. Mason bees are a good candidate for propagation because we figured out how to build nesting material that mimics places that they would nest in nature. We figured out what shape and size of cavity they like to nest in, and so it's easy for us to replicate that with human-made materials. Because they're solitary, that's what makes them non-aggressive. They don't have one queen bee to protect. All the females lay their own eggs, so they're completely non-territorial and, and non-aggressive. The question I answer more than any other question is, how do you rent a bee? <laughs> people will see our banner that says rent mason bees and people have to stop and ask. It starts by me explaining what a mason bee is, why they're important for our ecosystem, how they can help your garden, your fruit trees, that sort of thing. And then I just explain how easy it is to host them in your backyard. When we learned about mason bees, we learned that they don't sting. They're very safe for the kids. Um, they don't even, you don't even know they're around. They just kind of go about their business and pollinate. Our signal that the bees were there is they leave a little scent mark on the outside of the tube so that they know that's where they have to come back to. So that's where the kids would always come in reporting, there's a scent mark, there's another bee. So that's how we could see that it was working. So our busiest time of year is the spring. That's when the mason bees are going out. And so uh, that's when I'm shipping bees. They come into this room here and we temperature control them all summer. And then by September, you have a full adult bee inside a cocoon and it's hibernating. So at that point, we can handle them. We take apart these laminates that are here. We extract all the cocoons. We treat the nests with uh, heat. It kills any pollen mites that might be left on the materials. Then we take the cocoons and we actually wash them in a bleach solution and it helps remove the mites from the cocoons. And uh, we soak them for 10 or 15 minutes in this bleach solution and gets all the stuff off the outside of the cocoon. And then we dry them and put them on a light table after that to pull out any bad cocoons and clean them up. And then they're weighed and, and put into cold storage at about 36 to 38 degrees all winter where they just hibernate. Next spring when they're ready to hatch, you have a really fat, happy bee. Some of the bees grown through the Rent Mason Bees program will be put back into the program and end up in other people's backyards the following spring. And some of the bees will end up on farms, pollinating things that end up in our grocery stores. We have people who have huge amounts of acreage that rent bees, and we have people who live in apartments that rent bees from us. So it's that easy, anybody can do it. What I always emphasize is it is so easy to rent mason bees. What I do, since we're a neighborhood group, is I send out an email to my neighbors, let them know it's bee time. They, sign, they rent the bees themselves, they pay for them online, and then I pick them up. Um, when I bring them home, literally all we do is put a nail in a sunny spot, you hang the house. You know, we like to do it with our kids so they know the bees are here. Uh, and then I watched them, we all watched them. 